We are back on the Humane Society job and probably the first I'm going to do today my agenda is the rock I brought over here Friday I'm going to cut these holes out and go ahead and put a load of base rock in here because that's pretty rough and they get a lot of traffic in and out all the time so I'm going to get now the water's out of it and I'm going to go in there and cut those out and get that rock spread and then probably the rest of my junk pile here I'm going to go ahead and get it hauled off then I can kind of concentrate more on getting this swell cut and shaped. And then, seeing about trying to go in there and start raising these pins up a little bit. And maybe what I do in this swell is cut here, and if it's decent stuff, start putting it in these pins and kind of at least trying to get it the backs of them raised up where they'll, they'll fall this way. And then that way we're not hauling more material in or out. Let's get the loader going and uh, get to it.
We got all of our junk material hauled out of here and uh, now I just kind of took some shots of everything and there's a just a little slight swell right through here that I'm going to try to attach this one to and run on down that way. There's actually between here and before it goes over the hill about 17 inches of fall running towards the dump truck but at the same time there's also about three or four inches of fall running towards these pins. So I'm going to try to come in here and skim this down a little bit and start getting it to drain over this way from the pins to this swell and then kind of grade it on out down there and i mean some of it we're going to raise these pins up because i think i don't know if i checked this last one but these three this one's like an inch and a half lower three to four inches lower in places and then like three and a half inches lower than what it is outside in front of the gates here so which i know those are going to be brought up and uh i was originally thinking whatever i cut out of the swell i can put back in these pins and build the grade up and get it to slope out of there that way because it doesn't have to be you know like solid or structural because we're not putting a building on they're just going to let dogs run in it and then kind of cap it off with the screenings but at the same time i'm not real big on burying fence and uh, railroad ties and such so I may I may end up popping those railroad ties on the inside out which I mean the fence will still be kind of buried which is probably not going to be good on it but uh, it is where we're at right now
end of the day, I guess, progress report. But I don't think I hardly filmed anything today because it wasn't a whole lot different than yesterday. I actually, uh, you can't really tell, but I recut this swell a little bit deeper and then kind of shaved some of that. But it's pumping so bad that you can't really get it flat. And then everything I cut out, I put back in here. And I got the grade fairly built up on those and kind of started having some fall this way until I ran out of dirt. Like I said, they're not great because everything's just so muddy and soft underneath there. It's pumping. This one's not too bad. It's actually a little more solid than the rest of them. But I got all the railroad ties taken out inside the fence. Then we're going to try to bring that grade up. I, my plan after I left last night, I was thinking about coming in here or I at least talked to him anyway about taking out uh, this section of fence down through here and burying like a French drain because I was worried about trying to collect what water runs out here but uh, I guess that didn't really fly with everybody or the, the budget maybe so which is fine I understand they're kind of running on limited funds so and it's just a dog run but they just asked me to do the best that I can trying to build this grade up and slope it out here. So, I mean, there's not hardly anything you can do with that. You just track over it and it just pumps. So, But I try to cut as much as I can. Uh, it's got fall now and it should kind of run around these trees and run through here if I can ever get this to flatten out and then just take off down through there. And then once we get our screenings in and get these graded up a little bit higher, they'll drain out the front and we're going to not put the railroad ties back in the front so it should all drain out here and then i think we're going to top coat this whole thing like in the screenings or the fines out of base rock and then throw grass seed in that because i guess that's what they've done over there yeah, they like it if it rains it's not really muddy but here it is i guess tomorrow we'll see uh, maybe if we can get the trucks in here and get the screenings start getting that put in the fence ought to be here thursday and i think uh my dad's landscape company and his guys are going to put all that in so i dodged a bullet on that one at least but i want to get as much of my material in there before we fence them in but yeah we're going to load up and uh pick it up again in the morning